Today I'm going to make a video explaining my Herbie method overflow and I'm also going to try to explain the differences between the Herbie and uh, a regular standpipe or another method that's commonly used called the Durso. Uh, so I'll get started. My uh, tank is 187 gallons. You guys know that if you've seen my other videos. Um, I have my overflow on the right side here. This tank used to be a, a peninsula, but it's converted into a front viewing tank and you can view it from the left side as well. But uh, here's the overflow. You guys have never seen one. This is the Herbie method overflow. The pipe on the left there is the emergency overflow. And the pipe on the right is the main drain. That's where the water goes through. You can see that. Sorry about the glare. And then this is my overflow, so there's a bunch of crud growing in there. But anyway, the water overflows. You can see there overflows, and it is completely siphoned through this pipe here. And how that siphon works is there is a valve on that main drain that you fine tune to create the siphon and adjusting the water level in your overflow to be able to barely trickle over into this uh, emergency overflow. So the whole purpose of that is to uh, basically make the siphon and you get no noise from your overflow and also you get no micro bubbles or uh, anything like that going down into the sump. So that's obviously an advantage. Uh, I'm having a debate with one of my buddies that it restricts the flow, this Herbie method, but it's obviously impossible. He's saying it restricts the flow of the drain because you do have to dial down the, the valve on the main uh, drain here but it is not restricting the flow because any flow that might be restricted will go into the emergency overflow. Also, there's an issue about it clogging. If the main drain here was to ever clog, say a snail or anything goes into it or whatever, then your emergency overflow would automatically, you know, take all the water down into the sump. I uh, was trying to compare it to a Durso. If you guys don't know what a Durso is, basically what it is is you have a T that comes up at the top of this pipe and then a 90 and another 90. So I'll show you here on my frag tank. I don't know if you can see it, but this is a Durso. There's the drain coming up, this T has a 90 on it and that 90 goes down into the water which is basically what this emergency overflow is without all that extra 90s and stuff on there. So the, uh, the uh, Durso standpipe, that's what it's called, it's called the Durso standpipe, is basically just a modified standpipe which alleviates most of the noise um, that you know, otherwise a regular standpipe would sound like a flushing toilet, constantly water just going down a pipe. So anyway, back to this. Uh, no, you know, essentially you have, now the advantages of this uh, Herbie method are you have two drains now. If one gets clogged, it automatically would turn into uh, basically a standpipe, not a Durso standpipe. You could have a Durso if you wanted on the top of this, you could plumb that in and it would be the exact same thing. But the entire reason that you don't plumb in the uh, Durso on there is because if the main drain does fail, you want to be able to hear the water, uh, you know, going down into this emergency standpipe so you can correct the problem with the main drain. So that's about it. I'll show you all. Uh, mess around with the valve right now and show you exactly how it works so you can get a better idea. But I hope I helped you understand, you know, that in my opinion, this is 
probably one of the best overflow methods. Um, I mean, why would you not want two drains instead of one? You know, the Durso is a great method, but if you can use this Herbie method to eliminate all noise and any micro bubbles, then why not do it? So here is, I'm gonna mess with it. I'm gonna completely close this drain and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So here we go, I'm gonna close it up. Sorry guys, I dropped my phone. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention was that this standpipe here, the long white one, uh, it needs to be cut to a certain length to prohibit the overflow, the water coming out of the overflow from dropping too far which will create a bunch of noise. Uh, it needs to be cut, uh, I don't know, I'd say no more than an inch below the teeth of the, you know, where the overflow uh, teeth are. Mine looks like it's about a half an inch and uh, that makes it very quiet. Uh, so, I will go ahead and show you, you know, I'll play with the valve and show you, you know, what happens and try to explain, you know, what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and completely close the drain, the main drain, the valve that I showed you earlier in the video. So now this main drain here on the right is completely shut off. So right now all we have draining this tank is this standpipe. And you can see it and you can hear it gurgling. Now, that's basically what a Durso uh, alleviates. So, we're comparing the Hurley and the Durso now. And, like I showed you earlier, that uh, you know, the 90s and that T with the hole on top, that creates the Durso, which essentially silences this here. Now, what you're trying to do with the Kirby method is create that siphon. And I'll go ahead and mess with the valve again. So now I've opened up the valve a little bit, and the water level is going down. You can see that. Now that's about perfect. If you can see, the water is barely trickling into that. Uh, emergency overflow right there. So now we have the siphon going on on this side. No bubbles, no noise going into the sump. Just as simple as that. I would say I would recommend for the valve uh, to have a gate valve instead of a ball valve. That would be uh, a lot easier uh, to manipulate with your hand as well as uh, you'd be able to fine-tune it um, a little better than a ball valve. So that's it. Uh, if there's any questions or if I left anything out that you would like me to explain, go ahead and comment below. And uh, like I said, I hope I made that easier for you to understand what a Herbie overflow is and the difference of it between a Durso or just a plain standpipe. Thanks, guys.